May the 19th, 2018. You're looking at the latest news from Hawaii News Now. It's about the Hawaii volcano. Saying Puna on the Big Island is uh, lava flows are now less than a mile away from Highway 137 in Lower Puna, where volcanic activity is steadily increasing, guys. I've tried to talk people into getting out of here through my videos. That's the only way I really have to do it. It's saying this is not getting better. We're going into grand solar minimum. Guys, if you don't understand that, I'm talking to the people in Hawaii who refuse to evacuate. If you don't understand what that is, go back and look at some of my videos and other people's videos or just type in Grand Solar Minimum and look at the volcanic activity that was involved during these solar minimums, the modern minimum, many ice ages. Why? Shields are weak. More and more solar energy is pouring in through the magnetic lines of force into the core of our planet and heating up everything, including the volcanoes including also movement in the tectonic plates now they're having to evacuate people by helicopter because they will not listen and what are you doing when you do that guys you, and this is for you guys in hawaii that will not listen we had young men and women involved in rescue missions today that have mothers and fathers that flew in there and rescued some of you guys that won't get out. You don't understand you're messing with the, the earth still evolving. You're not going to stop it. And I know you've had past eruptions before and everything settled down. Guys, it's not the same now. Nothing is the same now. The hurricanes, the tornadoes, nothing. The cold winters, the record colds, the record highs in between the time as it's cooling down. Nothing is the same. So do not put people's lives in risk trying to get you out of your paradise, home in paradise, okay? At about 2 p.m. on Saturday, civil defense officials reported that lava could cross a major roadway in as little as four to seven hours at the current rate. As we're approaching that four to seven hour uh, time now, officials also said that the road may be closed at any time without notice. Then what have you got? You've got helicopter rescue at, and, uh, at night. Residents are advised to consider voluntary evacuating, although they are not in immediate danger at this time. Guys, look at the picture. Look at this picture. USGS scientists also announced on Saturday that fissures are now merging and connecting to other lava flows in the area. Fissures 16 and 20 have merged together and are producing a very voluminous line of spatter and lava fountaining. Look at the picture. The combined lava flow from Fissure 20 advanced 1,000 feet in less than an hour early Saturday morning. That's today, guys. And you're going to hang around there and play golf or whatever you do. And again, uh, being uh, having a son at two tours of duty Air Force in the Middle East just recently, I don't appreciate it worth a damn, you risking these young people's lives to fly you out of there. And their parents don't appreciate it either. The sensor report come out and you're traveling 300 yards an hour then you've got about five or six hours so it's very close to the coast now and you're going to be completely cut off on one of the last main highways that circles the island on friday four people were airlifted to safety and at least four homes were destroyed in lower puna on friday and early saturday as new fissures and the older ones created lava flows spit out towering lava fountains that lit up the night sky and set off thunderous gas explosions heard for miles around why are you still there there are shelters on the other side of the island do not risk the first responders life on friday evening civil defense officials said a fast-moving lava flow had crossed pohaiki road and was threatening an isolated area with at least 40 homes four people were again this is where they are lifted out by County and National Guard helicopters and four homes were destroyed. Uh, you, you guys that lost your homes, 
um, you also th risk the lives of our young kids from the National Guard in the county. Since the eruption started more than two weeks ago, some 22 fissures have opened in Lower Puna, claiming at least 44 structures in the Lulena Estates and Lana Puna Gardens. Guys, this is getting so bad. So far, no one has been killed. No one has lost their life. Even as they risk other people's life, especially the young generation that's coming in there fighting and trying to uh, rescue them out because they don't understand what's going on. They'd rather sit there on the mountain, watch the lava, watch the smoke coming off the top of the crater, and hope the helicopters get to them. Not very considerate, if you ask me. You've had three weeks or almost a month now notice, and you're still doing this? Really? I don't have any sympathy for you at all. You've got too much time. Guys, we don't get that kind of time. We get three or four days notice, and then the hurricane's going to change pass, path on, here on the Gulf Coast, so you may only have a half a day on where the path is going to get. But we prepare, okay? You guys in Hawaii, I understand that it's difficult to do, but it's a lot easier than putting people's life at risk to get you out. It goes back to yesterday. It says the eruptions took a particularly dangerous turn on Friday with at least five separate fissures spitting out fresher, listen, hotter lava from Kilauea Summit. What does that tell you guys? This It's building up. Tremendous pressure is building up. It's spewing this lava out. Why? Grand solar minimum. Weak shields. With fresher, hotter magma, there's the potential that the lava flows can move with greater ease. And you saw that, remember last night when we talked about the lava bombs and the rivers of lava? Notice they were moving like a flooded river. Now, they're describing the sound of the lava in areas as loud as 10 or 20 jets taking off at once right in your backyard. It's like huge grenades going off. It shakes the whole community. Why are you there? The ongoing volcanic activity prompted civil defense authorities to urge extreme caution for anyone still in lava-ravaged areas. Extreme caution? Why aren't you putting mandatory evacuations in there? Is it because you're losing a million dollars a day in the tourist industry and we're looking at the jaw syndrome to where regardless of the danger to the public, as long as you meet the needs of the tourist industry, you're okay? Really? says, Lalana Estate evacuees must be alert to possible decreased availability of access. This is what I'm talking about. Civil Defense Authority said no access is allowed at this time for residents of Lana Puna Gardens due to the high levels of dangerous volcanic gas. So as you stay there, you're getting this, and you're going to risk other people's lives trying to get you out. An official said while Highway 137 remains open, now this was this morning in Hawaii, residents from Isaac Hill Beach Park to Kalapena should prepare for voluntary evacuation if the thoroughfare becomes threatened. 137, guys, is a main road. Meanwhile, authorities continue to closely monitor activity at Kilauea Summit Crater when an explosion Eruption early Saturday spewed ash into the air. That's today. Now, it was not as big as the one that uh, blew 30,000 feet about 48 hours ago. It says they're urging residents across the Kaua District and Puna to be prepared for rapid changes in air quality because of the potential for ash fall or higher concentrations of sulfur dioxide. But don't mandatorily evacuate because you'll scare all the tourism away. On Thursday, heavy fog, which is VOG, guys. That's the volcanic ash. It's, and uh, it, it looks like fog in some of the pictures coming out of that area. On the early morning fog, that's how thick this is. And if you look at the USGS earthquake reports, Steve Brantley of the, of the USGS said the large cracks, which have torn roads apart in some places, or created gaps of a yard or wider or indications that magma is continued to in, uh, continue to enter the rift zone. Think about that. That whole section of the island could come apart. 
The rift zone is being forced apart, he said. I think clearly it points to the potential for additional eruptive activity in lower Puna. Marzo said he saw a crack on Nohia Street widen from about 3 feet on Thursday to about 10 feet wide later Friday. Yesterday, he also said, also said that about 40 yards of the road sank. The cracks are definitely taking a toll on people getting to their homes. Guys, it's beyond ridiculous. But we're dealing with the same governor that for 45 minutes forgot how to turn off the incoming missile alert, imminent missile attack. Remember, supposedly, when the clowns tried to throw this alert and make it look like North Korea was doing it. Remember, the same guy, what's his name, Ice, Ike? Hmm. Hotels have him under control, guys. You understand that, don't you? It says in Lower Puna, residents say the eruptions have turned their community into a war zone. Everything is so uncertain; it's really nerve-wracking. Who can see the uh, ongoing eruption or fissures? Number seventeen from her backyard. This is coming from Debbie Kaluhu. He, she says, "Your your very own edge. You have to really see it to believe it." Man, all I can say is if you want to sit there in your backyard and watch that, you do that. Mandatory evacuations remain in place for the Lilana Estates and Lanapuna Garden subdivision, home to about 2,000 people, but not everyone has heeded them, and authorities haven't forced people to leave. If they do, the, no one will book rooms on any of the islands. Talmega Magno, Hawaii County Civil Defense Administrator, said Thursday that about 20 homes remain occupied in Lulana Estates, a fact that he expects will change as volcanic activity continues to cut off roads, gobble up utility lines, and send toxic fumes into the air. Lava has a way of moving people, he said. Yep. You, there's an old law that says uh, you migrate, adapt, or you die. Migration in this um, situation is your only option. Meanwhile, authorities continue to urge thousands living elsewhere in Kilauea's East Rift Zone. Guys, this is the one we've been talking about that could possibly break. It has been sliding into the ocean every time that they have a major quake. Now look at what's going on. It says in the East Rift Zone, you better be prepared to evacuate quickly. So you're going to sit there and wait for it. A pre presidential disaster declaration has been issued for the ongoing Kilauea eruptions, which have changed the landscape of a Big Island community, destroying dozens of homes, covering roads, and gobbing, gobbling up utility lines. Tina Neal, USGS scientist in charge of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, has said that there's no telling how long the eruptions will continue. I'll tell you how long they're going to continue, Miss Neal, as long as we're in grand solar minimum. And it's going to get worse, and it's going to get worse around the planet. But guys, it, you know, if you got friends or family there, try to urge them to get out for their safety and for the safety of the first responders. It's a heads up. Be safe. 